How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to build this bookcase that's just over 6 feet tall. If you'd like to see how this project is made as well as a free set of plans, stay tuned and I'll be glad to show you. To get started, I'm going to cut my plywood down to what my cut list states here at my table saw. Now with all my pieces cut except for my back sheet of plywood, I want to go ahead and take my two side pieces as well as my top shelf for my bookcase and these pieces are all going to get a 3 quarter inch wide by 3 eighths of an inch deep dado on them and for that I'm just going to use my table saw. On both of my side pieces, I went ahead and stopped the dado before I went through the end. Otherwise, you'd have a gap right here and we don't want that. So what I did was I went ahead and stopped a little bit early, I marked it, and now I'm gonna take a chisel and chisel that out nice and square. Then I'll have a nice clean looking top. Now with all my dados made, I need to go ahead and do one last thing before I begin the assembly process, and that is apply some iron-on edge banding to a select few pieces. These need it beforehand, otherwise it's not gonna be flush when I'm done building the cabinet, and then I go ahead and apply it. So I need to apply it beforehand to make sure everything comes out nice and smooth. Now that I have my edge banding on the pieces that require it prior to assembly, I can go ahead and finally start the assembly process. I'm gonna begin with my bottom shelf and the three inch piece, as well as my top shelf and that three inch piece. So now that my top and bottom pieces are glued up, I'm making one slight change in my bookshelf, and that is on my side pieces. Originally, I was gonna use dowels to hold the shelves on, but instead, I'm gonna be using some shelf pins, and for that, I just got the shelf pin jig. What it does is it butts up here, and you can drill multiple holes, and that's gonna make your shelves adjustable, and it's also gonna make the staining process and the assembly process a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and drill out those holes on both of my side pieces.
all my shelf pit holes drilled out on both of my side pieces. I can go ahead and start the assembly process for this. Now I went ahead and already drilled out all the holes that are required for the dowels to fit in. The last thing I need to do now is go ahead and glue everything together. And for that, I have a friend here to help me out since this is a bigger project. I need an extra set of hands. dry on the back of the bookcase, I can go ahead and finish the edge banding on my shelves. I have a total of four that need edge banding just on the front part because you're not going to see the sides or anything, so there's really no point in doing that. the construction of the bookcase is complete. The last thing I need to do is go ahead and apply a stain. What I have here is a nice dark ebony stain. This is really going to pull out the wood grain and make it pop when it's all done. So let's go ahead and get started on this finish. With my shelves in place, my bookcase is all done. Now if you're wondering why I'm not bringing this inside, it's actually because I made this for a guy at my school, so I need to go ahead and take it down and put it inside the car. But I had to do a complete ending to this video, so hopefully you guys get the gist of what it's going to look like when it's inside somebody's house and all set up. But uh, as always, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more woodworking videos almost every Tuesday, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates throughout the week, or if I'm not posting a video this week or something, I'm always going to tweet out something about that. So follow me over on Twitter. That's it for this video. As always, I'll see you guys next Tuesday.